We are in metabolic reactions, lesson three. Our dialysis tube system has been sitting overnight and we are going to test first what iodine and benedicts look like with just water. So I'm gonna take two tubes and I'm gonna label each of my tubes water. Then I'm going to take a pipette and I'm going to add one milliliter of water to each tube. This is distilled water. Cap it and put it off to the side. In the first tube, I'm going to add five drops of iodine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cap it, and to the label on that tube, I'm going to add plus iodine. And I'm going to put that tube off to the side. In the other tube, I'm going to add five drops of Benedict's. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add this tube to a coffee cup. Put the coffee cup off to the side. For part four, we're going to be looking for what food molecules are outside the tube. So this time I'm going to take two of my 1.5 milliliter tubes and I'm going to add outside or out to the label on each of the tubes. I'm going to take a clean pipette and I'm going to dip it in to the liquid in the cup or beaker outside where the dialysis tube's been sitting for 24 hours. I'm going to fill my tube up to one milliliters and I'm gonna cap it. I'm gonna do the same with my second tube. On the first tube, just like I did before, I'm gonna add five drops of iodine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take that tube and put it off to the side. My second tube, I'm going to add five drops of Benedict's. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add plus iodine, or plus Benedict's to the tube and put in the, the coffee cup. And I'm going to write plus iodine on my other tube and record my results for the color of that tube in my science journal. I'm now going to test what food molecules are inside the tube. I'm going to follow the same procedure, but this time I'm going to use the liquid that is inside the dialysis tube. So I'm going to take two tubes, and I'm going to label those in or inside. And now what I have to do is I have to cut the dialysis tube. So I'm going to take it out of the beaker or cup, okay, and I am going to hold the knot and try to cut right below the knot. Now your students can do this with a partner. So one person's holding and one person is cutting. So I'm gonna grab it right below, since it's just me, and I'm gonna cut the tube right below the knot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clean pipette. I'm gonna insert it in the tube. Sometimes you have to rub it together a little bit to get the tube to separate. And I'm gonna suck up liquid from inside the tube. I'm gonna put the tube off to the side. And I'm gonna put one milliliter of the inside liquid inside each of my inside tubes. Next, I am going to add five drops of iodine to the first tube. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have a tube with five drops of iodine. I'm gonna record the color that I saw in my science journal. In the second tube, I'm going to add five drops, one, two, three, four, five 
of Benedict's. And I'm going to label this one inside plus Benedict's. And I'm going to put this tube in the cup with my other two tubes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to get hot water from either a hot water heater or a tea kettle. And I'm going to add that hot water to cover the tubes. Now this water needs to be really close to boiling and the tubes are going to need to sit in here for five minutes. So I'm going to swirl it around a little bit and I'm going to leave it there for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to take the tubes out and I can see, I'll lay all my tubes out, I've got my inside plus iodine and my inside my outside plus iodine and my water plus iodine then I also have my outside sorry my water plus Benedict so these are our control tubes and then I have my tube where I have my inside plus iodine. And here's what an inside plus Benedict's tube would look like. And then I have my outside. You can shake these up if you need to see it a little more clearly. And so now you can see my results here. These were for water. This was the outside. And this was the inside. And you can see right here, here's my tubes that have been sitting in the water and they haven't been there long enough yet.